The latest Hitman games are, in my opinion, some of the best games that we've received in the last 10 years. And I'd even say they're some of my favourite games of all time. That being said, as much as I love these games, they have one massive issue. That's right, primarily single player games that require a constant connection to a game server to access a lot of the game's content. This has brought massive criticism to the entire trilogy and was possibly the worst decision IO Interactive ever made with these games. Yet each game still contains this requirement. The games contain an offline mode when you can connect to the game server, but it's fairly pointless to play as online saves and offline saves are separate. Unlocks can't be unlocked. Challenges don't work. The rating system doesn't work. And escalations don't work, which for Hitman 3 means DLC like 7 Deadly Sins, which is nothing but escalations, won't work in offline mode. Basically, a ton of content you've paid for could potentially be lost if IO ever shut down the servers for any of these games. They say they have no plans to shut the servers down, but it's bound to happen at some stage. Servers can't stay online forever. Hitman Absolution had its server shut down in 2018, only six years after the game released. IO said they'd return, but four years later, they still haven't. On top of this massive issue, these games suffer heavily from timed live content. Several missions have been time limited, such as elusive targets and seasonal events. And in the case of elusive targets, they've all been lost in Hitman 1 and 2 already. And from the looks of it, the same will happen in Hitman 3. Content will be lost forever because it's been time limited. Except, modders are making sure this exact thing doesn't happen with the Peacock project. This project is a fan-made mod for the Hitman trilogy, which allows players to run a server on their own PC and then patches the game to use this server, instead of the official game server. This means that if IO ever shuts down the servers for these games, or they go offline, for who knows what reason, you can use the Peacock server on your own PC to access all the content that you've paid for. Let's take a look at some of the upsides of Peacock and how it improves these games. At the moment, Peacock will give you access to all of the unlocks in the game, as the challenge and mastery system aren't currently implemented into Peacock, but we'll talk more about that later. This is still better than the current IO system, where you can't unlock anything in offline mode and have no access to the things you haven't already unlocked online. Peacock also supports the rating system, unlike IO's offline mode, and even has its own leaderboards so you can see the ratings that other Peacock players have received. Along with that, Peacock receives roadmaps with monthly content containing new features and community made content such as escalations and featured community contracts. Peacock even has official modding support in the form of plugins, easy to install mods which can do numerous things. One plugin, for example, adds an additional campaign which makes every NPC on all maps targets. Another plugin available adds all of the Hitman 1 escalations that weren't poured to Hitman 2 and Hitman 3 to both of those games. While all of the seasonal content in Hitman 3 so far is now permanent, this wasn't always the case. Peacock always had all seasonal content available permanently, while IO restricted access to it for a certain time period. On top of all that, 
Elusive targets, which are targets that only appear for a short amount of time before disappearing, are available permanently with Peacock. These targets have their own briefing videos, dialogue and level routes and IO choose to make them one time things. Hitman 1 and 2 are no longer supported by IO, which means you can never play elusive targets in those games again. This isn't the case with Peacock. With Peacock, you can go back and play all elusive targets as many times as you like on all three games. So, while Peacock has a ton of benefits and will be the only way to play most of the content in this trilogy once the servers go down, there are still some downsides at the moment. First off, the biggest issue with Peacock is that it's not truly completely offline. This isn't because of Peacock, but simply a game limitation. Unfortunately, when launching any of these games, they check if an internet connection is available, so they can send a request to Steam or Epic to verify that it's you. If it can't complete this verification, the game simply won't even attempt to connect to a server, including the Peacock server. So, while Peacock removes the reliance on IO servers being live, these games still rely on the platform the game is being launched on to be live. However, I doubt this will be an issue anytime soon, and even if it was, it's likely we'll have a workaround by then. Peacock still has one benefit over the vanilla game in this instance. And it's the fact that if you lose your internet connection while playing on the official servers, you'll be forced to quit and go into offline mode. With Peacock, once you pass the initial verification when launching the game, you can lose internet connection any time during that play session and continue to play without any worries. The second issue, like I said earlier in this video, is that challenges and mastery levels currently aren't available in Peacock. So for those of us who love to do the challenges and grind through mastery levels on each map, this currently is impossible with Peacock. However, challenges are being worked on and are meant to be available in the next major release of Peacock, version 5. This will be the beginning of the implementation of challenges, mastery and unlocks. I also talked to the lead developer Ardell and he says even if the servers go down tomorrow, they have everything they need to implement these systems, so these features should be developed eventually. And the last issue with Peacock is that escalations aren't fully available yet. There are some custom escalations available from the community and the team behind Peacock, but most of the vanilla escalations haven't been ported yet except those Hitman 1 escalations that are available through a plugin like I mentioned before. This is on the to-do list for the team, but it's not really a priority right now. The Peacock project has a website which gives details on how to download and how to get everything set up. Installation and usage is very simple, so I won't even cover it in this video. Just check out the website, head to the Peacock Discord and follow all the instructions given on the website. That brings us to the end of this video. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to check out other Hitman content on my channel, including videos covering cut content in depth. And don't forget to subscribe. Thanks for watching and have a good one.